good afternoon guys and I'm going to start this video right here in the baking hot sunshine for Saturday afternoon at the end of March with this rear wheel and this camber because although this car is down on air it has run from China to Bangkok running that camber this is a GR86 and there's three cars come from China to Bangkok and this is a journey that's taken them not straight away they've gone up Kenming, Chiang Mai and then down here so I reckon about 3,000 to 3,500 kilometers on that camber that is absolutely mental so let me pull around to a different angle to carry on so you can see that absolutely mental wide body and this big duck tail on the back this is one of three cars that have come over from China there's a Toyota Avalon over there with the wheel off because they're getting it fixed I'll show you that in a minute and there's a Nissan Marsh all on air all lowered all modified that is serious commitment to do this journey and now they are headed for Tofuya I'm going with Kunen in his MX-5 over there we're going to take the Chinese people over, go to Tofuya, hang out there. So this video, kind of going to show you a bit of content about these Chinese cars. Take a look at them, see what's going on with these guys. Head over to Tofuya, get a bit of content there. But my main video for Tofuya, it will have already dropped. So I'll put a link in the description below if you want to catch up with that. But this video, just want to look at these cars. It's an epic journey, what these guys have done. So we're going to start right here with this Toyota Avalon because he's not going to be moving for a while because the guys picked up a couple of hairline fractures in the SSR wheels. The wheel's off and it's been taken off to get welded. It's going to be back in a bit. So while the wheel's off and away, we can have a quick check of what's going on with this car. The owner says that under the bonnet it's pretty stock but it's put a lot of cosmetic modifications on it it's wrapped up and it's got these big Tory brakes big six pot calipers vented discs bells and this is riding on air that's a heck of a way to do a journey from china you can also check out the front end of this car because this feels very lexus if it was here big strong front end you got the chinese plates on it and although we're missing the wheel over there, just want to look at these SSR Formula wheels because they are really nice, quite rare here. There's a lot going on with these wheels. Very, very cool. There's one or two people use them here and they are bang on. In fact, this whole car is really dressed up nicely. And although it's up on the jack, man, that is riding pretty low and using a pretty low profile tire. In fact, 235, 35, 19s. So while we're here, we better have a quick look around ST Auto Accessories. And I'm going to start right here in this pit with this MX-5 with our proper mental air intake. And you can see the coolers, the race towing eye, the stripes, UNOS badge on it. Because this is absolutely epic. And this, I'm going to be riding across the impact for Tofuya Grand Prix meet. And here is a Lancer that's been given a complete front clip of the Japanese market version. You can see completely different headlights, front grille, all the front spoiler, the cooler behind there, the fog lights, the lip. And I'm just going to show you around the back as well. Got a carbon lip spoiler, We've got actually someone working underneath, so I'll try and keep out of their way. And you can see the whole Japanese market back bumper. Next up, new Civic Type R in red which is pretty rare matching red plates got an evo 8 mr in the corner and what i also really like here the way Ern has thrown up all these banners giving a real japanese garage feel and here's another car from st auto accessories that's been on my videos before this brz with the lfa front end to it lexus badging totally unique in thailand this is a neo gti incredibly rare here in fact i think it's the only one i've seen in thailand i really like these and their performance is really rock on and you can see it's got the arch extensions dtm racing wheels then i've got a cayman here i'm just going to take you for a quick peek 
into this place because man there are so many wheels accessory seats there's a whole mx5 from and you can see all the lights all the jdm stuff all the jdm wheels bonnets bumpers aero parts man this place is absolutely ram i'm really gonna have to come here one day make a whole video on all earns cars because he's got such a cool collection of cars and dig into this garage here is a t5 oh and then next door to it, we've got two absolutely mint eg sedans and there's even a beach buggy with a subaru engine hanging out the back here's another jdm car that is in for service today or they're fiddling around doing little things with electronics but you can see this legacy with the details with the reversing lights here the lower spoiler the badging here sti all around it this is another thing you do not see in thailand very often so it kind of really is a full hardcore jdm garage the avalon wheel has returned things are looking good we could be on the move pretty soon When I said before, looking at the reverse lights in a few details, this is a JDM spec car. Very definitely is. You can see the highway toll card reader fitted in the car from new. And finally, before we set off, I just want to show you the back end of this car because there's a lot going on here. You can see this rear wing, it's adjustable. And this exhaust system here, the way the exhaust comes around, comes back out through twin exits, really nice. Got toe and eye on the back and the whole open diffuser. It's time to go and the first stop before we hit the 50 odd kilometers to impact is the 711. Now we have the wheels back on this car. And we got an opportunity to see it down on air and man that is absolutely as down as it gets that rim has disappeared into the arch this thing is sitting really really low that looks absolutely fantastic and this wheel is back repaired and it is down low this thing looks epic and the 711 is the perfect backdrop Last stop before heading to Toffee Yar is the car wash. Polish these things up. It's been a long drive from China. Well, I think they probably had a wash or two on the way, but it's time to get them cleaned. 150 baht per car. Can't complain at that. Polish them up and into the show. So we're going to meet them there. That'll be the next stop. So we get to the end of the journey across the city to impact to Tofu Ya. And here is at least one of the Chinese cars has made it. There's three, I've only seen two so far. I'm not sure I'm gonna see the other one. And one so far has got it here. And that is the crazy wide body GR86 build with a stance that must be a heck of a pain to drive around these roads all that wide body kit and here now it's going dark we've got underfloor light we've got a flashing light in the back we've got a change in the underfloor light here as well carbon fiber trims everything going on with this car and then suddenly there were two the avalon rocks up the two chinese cars or two out of the three make it to Tofia for the grand prix event and that looks pretty good they stopped at the car wash and that is cleaned up really nicely so i think it's worth the late arrival so that's it for this kind of randomly jumbled together content on these chinese guys 
I mean, I wasn't even planning to make a video on them, but I kind of met them, we did things, threw it together. It's kind of a record of their trip from China. Oh, modify car can save the world. By, uh, by design. Yeah. Yeah. In in China, self. <laughs> Waste the earth. <laughs> lower, lower.